What looks like an unusual giant metal canister, rising high above the windy Alabama landscape, has some familiar design features. So there's a lot of heritage shuttle technology here. But this is not intended to return the iconic fixed wing reusable space shuttle into orbit. It was retired in 2011, the last time NASA sent an astronaut into space from the US. What is taking shape today at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center is the core of a new space launch system, or SLS. The piece behind me is the liquid hydrogen tank. Mike Nichols is one of NASA's lead engineers testing new rocket technology. In order to prove that it's strong enough to survive launch, they build this structural test article, send it to us, we install it in the test stand. We do tests which involves using hydraulic cylinders to apply loading to it. Historian Brian Odom says it's just one piece of the larger space launch system, which will launch a new Orion capsule into space. So the work you see in the background is for the liquid oxygen, the oxidizer for that SLS vehicle, to see if it's going to be able to withstand those pressures, those intense dynamics at launch. And so we're making sure that our models are correct, and so far everything's looking good. Once testing of these rocket stages is complete here at the Marshall Space Flight Center, the goal isn't just to return astronauts to orbit from Cape Canaveral. There are far greater goals in mind. The Space Launch System is the only rocket capable of sending a fully equipped Orion, the astronauts, the supplies, and the systems to the moon in one launch and taking us to deep space. The Flight Center's director, Jody Singer, knows the clock is ticking in a new space race, this time with the Chinese, who also plan to land a crew on the moon in the next decade. I applaud them. Why would be upset? Because the Chinese are doing something. They're very, very good at what they do. Astronaut Al Warden, who piloted the Endeavour Command Module during the 1971 Apollo 15 mission to the moon, believes NASA could partner with the Chinese. What we need to do is cooperate and do stuff with them instead of looking at them arm's length and being a little standoffish about it, uh, because I think the, the, a cooperative program would be much more efficient than the way it's going right now. Right now, private companies like Boeing and SpaceX are developing vehicles to take astronauts into Earth orbit and the International Space Station, while Jody Singer says NASA's sights are set on new historic milestones. So we're all working very hard to land the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024 and take what we learned and do it and apply to the future missions, such as missions to Mars. The first new moon mission in the Artemis program is tentatively scheduled for next year without a crew. Artemis II plans to send astronauts around the moon in 2022, with Artemis III touching down on the lunar south pole in 2024. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Huntsville, Alabama.